In this video, we will understand the relationship between your total average cost, your average fixed cost and your average variable cost. We have seen in our previous video that your average fixed cost is a rectangular hyperbola. Means it is like this. Average fixed cost. Right. We have seen that your average variable cost is decreasing right at some point it is constant and it starts increasing this is your average variable cost curve now let us make your average total cost curve so this your average total cost is the summation of average variable cost plus your average fixed cost so your average total cost will be somewhere here so this is your average total cost curve so these are the three curves that we have plotted and we have derived the average total cost curve from your average fixed cost and your average variable cost curve. So let us do the comparison between the average total cost and the average variable cost curves. Number one, both AVC curve and the ATC curve are U shaped. That is your ABC and your ATC curve is U shaped. Number second, is ATC curves lies above the ABC curve, the average total cost curve lies above your average variable cost curve because your average total cost curve includes the constant the average uh, fixed cost curve so it lies above the average variable cost curve the third point we have is the minimum point of the avc curve your avc curve's minimum point is this right this is your minimum point AVC curve is the lowest output level and that of the ATC curve at the highest output level see this is your AVC curve and this is your ATC curve at this lowest level of ATC curve, your output is this, right? And your average total cost curve, your output is this and your cost is higher. So, the minimum point of AVC curve is at a lower output level and the minimum where is the minimum of the ATC the minimum of the ATC is here from here it starts rising so the minimum of ATC is at the higher output let's say this is q1 and this is q2 so minimum point this is the minimum point of avc curve from here avc curve starts rising is at the lower level output level and this is the minimum point of atc from here your atc starts rising it is at the higher output level and that of the atc curve at a higher 
output level see as your output increases right the difference between see here the difference was this 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 and then the difference between AVC and ATC has become this much this much so as your output increases after some point of time your difference between AVC and ATC curves keeps on decreasing this we have done that as your output increases your average fixed cost becomes you know parallel to this line it won't become negative or zero but it will somehow become parallel to your x-axis so the difference between your ATC and ABC will go on reducing in the short run so these are the relationship between your AFC, ABC and average to total average cost right I hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us